From the station working for you, this is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey. Here are your latest headlines. Contact tracing efforts are underway after at least nine employees from St. Elmo Steakhouse tested positive for COVID-19. The restaurant closed on Saturday and announced the building would also undergo a thorough cleaning. The Marion County Public Health Department is working to contact trace the reported cases and assess any possible exposures. An investigation is underway this morning after a University of Alabama student died with COVID-19 following a visit to Indy for the tournament. 23-year-old Luke Ratliff attended Alabama UCLA game last weekend at Hinkle Fieldhouse. His father told an Alabama newspaper that Luke was hospitalized shortly after returning home from the game and died a few days later. The Marion County Health Department says it's working to determine if anyone in Indianapolis may have been exposed to COVID-19 by any Alabama resident visiting our city last week. And today, IPS students are returning to in-person learning full-time. High school and middle school students haven't been in the classroom full-time in more than a year. IPS also gave students the option to stay completely virtual through the classroom. Let's get a check right now of our forecast with Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. And it's a good forecast for us here, Lauren, throughout the day today as our temperatures will be well above normal highs today, anywhere between 75 and 80 degrees across the area with warm and breezy conditions this evening. If you have plans, you're in great shape. Temperature will fall from the 70s down into the 60s under a mainly clear sky and the wind will start to calm as well as we work our way into the evening hours after some wind gusts that could be up near 20 miles per hour uh, later on this afternoon. Tomorrow we just do it all over again starting in the 50s ending in the mid 70s. We're still in the 70s on Wednesday then the cold front comes through following the passage of the cold front with some showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Temperatures will cool off for highs in the upper 60s. Todd, thank you for more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.